Hi everyone, we're at Pixar and we watched an amazing short called Float and we are here to talk with Bobby about it. Yeah, hey! Oh, how's it going? Tell us, tell us the story because uh, okay. yeah, you made us cry during the interview. Aww. Yeah, when we so, saw it, I was crying. I was oh, crying. thank you. So we said, let's get it on camera of us crying. And show it <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm glad you guys, it resonated with you in some way. Uh, because the story is uh, based off of my relationship with my son, Alex, who is on the autism spectrum. And um, I had a hard time when the diagnosis came down. This was actually like uh, eight years ago, about eight years ago. And um, my wife actually told me, you should probably tell a story about it. And I'm a comic book artist on, on the side. So... Um, oh, uh, okay, <laughs> and then my wife was like, "You should tell, make a comic of it," and so I did. I I tried to. I did this cover, and and it had a boy and a and a father, and the boy was floating, and it said, "A journey of a father and a special child," and I couldn't do it. I couldn't <laughs> work on it, and so I had to put it away. And then uh, just two years ago, I was like, "I'm just gonna do the story. I don't care." I'm gonna. So I started working on it, I, I did the storyboards, and um, people were saying, you should show this to Lindsay Collins, our executive producer of uh, the Spark Shorts, and uh, I did, and she's like, this is a perfect candidate for the Spark Shorts, um, and I was like, okay, let's do this, and then I just took the jump, it's time to go tell the story for the whole world. Oh, I loved it, that was great. <laughs> it was amazing. and. And I think um, the part, so when I first watched it, I think that was my first thought or inclination that, yes, this was for families with children with autism. Oh, okay. um, And I don't have a, I'm the mom of five girls, and okay. I don't have um, a child with autism, but it, I think the part that I connected with the most was at the end, the dedication, mm. um, where it was dedicated to families. Um, <laughs> um, families who are deemed different. Yes, deemed different. Um, and I think that sometimes, as a society, then we get wrapped up in this in this word "different." Yes. Or we don't embrace it, or think, you know what? It's good to yes. be different. Yes. Um, and so that is what resonated with me because I think just being a parent in general, yes. you know, you'll always have children who struggle with um, friendships or school or or not being normal, or right. or part of the crowd, and, and right. sometimes all they want to do is fit in with the crowd. So, right. So right. thank you for yeah, yeah. Making. That's why I wanted it to be about difference. I, I did want to say it's about. It, it, there's a part in the movie where the dad is looking in. He is the outsider, mm -hmm. and he and I and I I wanted to dedicate this to all the outsiders because you're like, okay, but I'm making the best of a situation. And I'm learning to love and accept my son unconditionally, and um, not only accept him, but also encourage his gift, and also celebrate his gift at the end. So we're, you know, celebrate his unique gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every kid has their own difference. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, feel like I, oh, I want to hug you guys. Yeah. I'm like when the dad yells, like I was um, like, oh. Well, I know because I, I did it. Like too. I feel like I've been there for different certain things with my kids, you know. And then you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, you have to like step back and, yeah, yeah. like you said, like look. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be comparing my kids to other people. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. My kid is almost better. Not I mean, better, but like he has its own yeah. uniqueness, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's a. He's you. Every kid's different, and you just gotta let them be. I. I know at first I was trying to force my son to be something he's not. And that's what it, in the yeah. short, the same thing. He was like was trying to stop him from flow. And, yeah. and you're just going to be normal like the other kids. I just want you to appear normal. And he realizes when he looks at his son and he's crying that, my God, I'm, I'm horrible. You're horrible. You're, you're a mess. I don't want to live this way. Mm -hmm. if, if we walk out right now, this is going to be us forever. But I want you to be yourself. And I want you to, you know, fly. I want you to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And then he's finally a true parent. I'm, I'm not putting my stuff on you. Yeah, right. You could be yourself. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, uh, it, it was, was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crying again. Oh. Uh, was so yeah, cool. I was telling the girls um, from the Geekly Show this story about my daughter who was going into the sixth grade, like she was starting middle school. That's tough. And so one of her friends mm -hmm. um, was like, you know, you can't wear um, you can't wear black shoes to gym. All the girls wear white shoes or gray shoes to gym. Right. Um, and, you know, that's something like her older sister had told her. And, and so I was kind of proud of my daughter because she's like, okay. So she found these bright green Tinkerbell shoes. They were like <laughs> run Disney shoes that yeah, I had yeah. bought for another daughter. She's like, I will wear these. And nice. I'm like, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Go ahead. Like, yeah. you, know, you don't need to wear some white or gray shoes to gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. Be yourself. But I think it's a good message for kids. Like, have, has your son seen the short? Yes, he has. And how did yeah. he react? He's on the spectrum, so he, <laughs> yeah. he's yeah. all like, that's good, Dad. <laughs> I mean, he. I've asked him again when it's not in front of everybody. Yeah. And he's, yeah. He likes it, and he's very proud of it. But, you know, initially, you know, he's... He's like, yeah, it's good. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in nothing to this thing. <laughs> You're like, and I mean, I made this with Pixar. I know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> For you, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, what okay. about your wife? How did she react? Oh, she cried. And uh, my wife was the one that told me to make this story. Because she saw, if I'm being honest, the father is going through the depression. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so I was, too. And so she was like, you got to tell your story. You make this, you just go and make this, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I thank her. Yeah. And she had the strength. I'll be honest. She had all the strength. I was just like, oh, Alex is autistic. What am I, I going to do? You <laughs> know? So, but it, this, this short has been so cathartic. And it's been. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it helped me, and I feel... I hope it, it, it I think it'll help a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. It really do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well thank you for yeah. dancing oh, with thank us. You. Thank and you. guys, watch Float. Yes, it's gonna be on Disney Plus. Yes. So check it out. Life changing. Life changing. <laughs> Life changing. <laughs>